Hey everybody, I'm in a town called Catchy still. If you saw my other posts, then you'll have known that you saw, saw some pictures of it, the place I'm staying. Uh, looks like this nice yard. They have a lot of cool courtyards here in South America behind gated fences. Up front motorcycle parking as usual. They usually let you pretty much put stuff anywhere you want. Here in Argentina, they're not really offering for me to put it inside the house. Gonna spend an extra day here. Uh, I tend to spend extra time in places that nobody goes and I tend to go around the places that people spend extra time in. I completely went around Santiago, Chile, which is supposed to be the most western and interesting, well I've heard, most western and interesting city in South America. I didn't even go in, but I'm in this small town that might have an ATM. Um, I've been here for three days and nobody comes here for three days as far as I know. So this will be my last. Uh, tomorrow I'll be on to something else next place. Um, I was going to go into Bolivia, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I was going to go back into Chile and do kind of a, a different route through Chile. And then I found out that Bolivia charges Americans in particular $160 for the privilege of coming in and spending your money in their country. Peru doesn't do that. Chile doesn't do that. Argentina doesn't do that. Uruguay doesn't do that. Paraguay doesn't do that. I don't think Colombia or Ecuador do that. Then you have to pay, I think it's like 10 times more for gasoline than the, than the citizens do, which, you know, if every foreigner has to pay 10 times more, that's fine, whatever. But then you also have to pay gringo taxes on, on pretty much everything. It's like that in Peru, too. They just, there's, there's, there's no price tags on anything so that if you're not one of the normal people that comes in, they can just guess at something. I'm, I'm staying in a place right now where I asked how much the, the room was, and it was 500 pesos. I'm in Argentina, but I'm getting close to Bolivia. And they said, uh, 500 pesos. I'm like, do you have anything a little bit nicer like that doesn't smell like smoke? And they said, yeah, we've got this other place. I'm like, how much is it? And she's like, mm, I don't know. And what they like to do is kind of look you up and down, see what kind of shoes you're wearing. Hmm, I don't know yet. And we got down there. She didn't look in a book. She didn't check with anybody. She just decided when we got there that it was going to be 800 bucks. Uh, but didn't tell me that till I told her whether or not I liked it or not. So... Uh, you got to deal with a lot of that stuff, and Bolivia is worse, so Bolivia will have to wait. It's supposed to be very pretty, but um, there's a lot of pretty things in a lot of places, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, I'm really trying to make good time today, um, but eh, you run into these things, you gotta stop, and you just hope that you can make up the time somewhere along the way. It's their elevation, so it's about 10,000 feet, maybe a little higher, and this is the view. I wish these cameras were like 3D or something, because uh, this, is, this is a pretty, pretty good view. This is the road I'll be descending. Last town I stayed in, they have one gas station, and uh, that gas station was out of gas. And the next gas station is um, about 100 miles. So, uh, you know, when you're planning on a motorcycle, that's kind of a big deal. Luckily, I carry five extra liters of gas, so I'll, I know that I'll make it, but I'm wondering how many people I'll see broken down on the side of the road. You know, if I can serve, then maybe I can help them out too. All right.